Hi guys, welcome to the 83rd video of the Love Bubber 450 questions series. So in the previous video, we had discussed a very important, interesting, and personally I had never seen that kind of a problem. Uh, Morris in order traversal, Morris pre-order traversal, wherein you can do in order and pre-order traversal in O of one space. So that was very helpful in finding out a median of a BST. So today we will solve a different problem. And before solving today's problem, I would just like to tell you that if you're preparing for a coding interview or you are computer science information IT student, data structure algorithms will be very, very important. And to master data structure algorithms, there is a book which is written by a software engineer who has worked in multinational companies. He himself has written this book and there are 90 plus algorithms and data structure chapters with 15 plus HR questions. HR round is usually final round, wherein uh, different tricky kind of problems, I mean, questions are asked. So all those things are also mentioned in this book. So I'm just giving you a brief overview of this. See, there are so many topics. This is an ebook. You can purchase this ebook. I'll give the link in the description to purchase it. It is at a very affordable price, and you will find all the important concepts in one place only. And that is the best part of this book. So there are see so many chapters: graph, data structure, sorry, tree graph is there, yes, graph, searching, sorting. For beginners, intermediate, advanced, all the concepts are given, spanning trees. See, so many things are there. Please do check out this book in the description box. I will give the link. You can buy it. You can buy it using GPay itself or any online method, online payment. All those options are there. Please do check it out. Okay. So let us start uh, today's video. Today's video first, we will see this one. Let us see if we can do more than one problem. So first is this. Replace every element with the least greater element on its right side. Here, this least greater element makes the problem very difficult to solve. Actually, this if, if this least was not there, that means if the problem was replace every element with the greater element on the right, then it would be a very easy problem. I'll put that problem also in the description. It is in lead code. So that is different from this problem. Here they're asking least greater element. So given an array of integers, replace every element with the least greater element on its right side. So what will be the brute force approach for this problem? For example, if the given uh, array is this, okay, let us assume this is the given array and let us try to find the answer for it. See, for 50, there is no element on the right, so minus one, replace 50 with minus one. For 25, least greater element is 50. For 40 also, it is 50. For 60, there is no greater element on its right side. So I'll replace it with minus one. For five, it will be 25. For 30, it will be 40. For 20, it will be 30. For 10, it will be 20. And 15 also, it will be 20. So this is the expected answer. We should return this array. So as you can see, the brute force method. So the brute force method, can you tell me the time complexity? we can tell easily that the time complexity will be O of n square. As we are, for as uh, what we are doing is for every index, for every element, we are checking the least greater on the right side and replacing it with that. So it will take O of n squared time. Now, as you already would have guessed, we have to make use of binary search tree somewhere or the other because it obviously comes under this, that much we know. But this problem is actually a hard problem because in the interview, we won't know whether we have to use BST or not. How will we know if we have to use binary search tree? That is why it is a very hard problem. Actually, it's tricky. I would say it is tricky to understand. So over here, we have to understand one thing that least greatest least greatest 
is the same as in order successor. I want everybody to recall what is in order successor. We have already done in order successor predecessor. So those things we have already seen. So please recollect that in order successor of a node is the least greatest element of that node. So for example, if the in order, if the in order traversal is one, two, three, five, seven, what is the in order successor of three? It will be the next element, which is five. So the least greatest element will be five. But over here, we have one more condition that we should check on the right side. So we have that condition also that we should check on the right side, right? So when we have to check on the right side, what are we supposed to do? So we have to find the least greatest on the right side. So to solve this problem, we have to just know one thing that is how to create a binary search tree. That's it. It is a simple problem actually. We just have to keep creating a binary search tree. That means what am I trying to say? When we are given an array, okay, we have to traverse the array from right to left and we have to create, we have to go on creating a BST. That is, we have to go on inserting nodes. We have to continuously insert nodes and we have to just write an insert function. And whenever we insert nodes, we also need one thing, which is successor. We have to find out the in order successor. So let us take an example and, and I'll explain to you what I'm trying to say. So let us take the earlier example itself, which was 15, 10, 20, 30, 5, 60, 40, 25, 50. Okay, so initially we are at 50. We have to traverse from right to left. So initially we are at 50. So when we are at 50, so when we are at 50, what is the binary search tree? So, so when we are at 50, there is initially no binary search tree. So we'll create a binary search tree. So it is initially 50, okay. Next, we go to 25. Now, when we go to 25, what happens? Now, how will the binary search tree look? Now, the binary search tree will look something like this, right? So, the binary search tree will now look like this. Okay. Now, can you tell me what is the in order successor? What is the in order successor of 25? It is going to be 50. That is why when we have created this, we got to know that in order successor is a 50. And now, see over here it is minus one. As there was no in order successor, we put minus one. When we created initially 50, only 50, only one node was there. So minus one. But when we created 25, we have an in order successor, which is 50. Now let us go to 40. When we go to 40, what will the binary search tree look like? The binary search tree will look like this. See, 40 is greater than 25, so go to the right side. But 40, see, 40 is greater than 25, go to the right side. 40 is less than 50, go to the left side. So the binary search tree will look something like this. So this is the binary search tree. Now, what is the in order successor for this binary search tree? Now the binary search tree has changed as and when we are inserting nodes, the binary search tree gets modified. For this binary search tree, what is the in order successor of 40? It is going to be 50. So again, we write 50 over here. Now. 60. Now we are at 60. Okay. 
Now let us see how the tree will change. So how will the tree change? 60. Now we have to insert 60 into this binary search tree. 60 is greater than 25, go to the right side. 60 is greater than 50, go to the right side. So 60 will be here. So now this is our binary search tree. Okay, now what is the in order successor of 60? In order successor of 60 is nothing. There is no in order successor. What to do? Just replace this element with minus one. So now are you trying to understand what I'm saying? As and when we keep inserting nodes, we will be modifying the binary search tree. And we will be getting in order successors. So as I said, least greatest element, if you have to find, we have to create a BST and find out the in order successors. So let us write some code for this now. So first of all, let us make a We have to uh, make a structure. So I think uh, the, these things everyone will know how to do. It is not a great thing. So I will directly, uh, what I will do is I will write the insert function. So this insert function will take parameters, which will be, uh, you know, the parameters for insert function will be, so this insert function will be void. It won't be returning anything, but uh, we will pass it with another name, allies name, and we will need, uh, we will need these, parameters, okay. So we need node and we need a successor. So if node equal to null, then we say that a node equal to new, new node and we put val. Now, if value is less than node val or node data, sorry, that means we have to go to the left subtree. We have to go to the left subtree because value is less than the current node's value. Just recall the binary search tree property. So when we are going to the left subtree, we have to continuously store the successor. So successor will be node. Let me explain this to you, what I'm trying to say. See, suppose now let us consider this example only, okay? Forget everything else. Let us take this example, 25, 50. 25 and 50 is there, okay? Now if I have to insert 40, what I will do, 25 is greater. 25 is greater than 40. No, 25 is less than 40. So when, when the data to be inserted is greater than the node, we have to just go to the right subtree. So if this condition is false, just insert, just call the function insert. And uh, over here, what should we do? So we should just go to the right subtree. But now, okay, after going to the right subtree, now we are at 50, but 40 is less than 50. So we'll go to the left subtree, but before going, we need to store a successor as 50. This is very important. We have to store the successor. So successor will be node, okay. Successor will be node and we have to insert in the left subtree now. So we have to go to the left subtree. And the reason why we are passing the arguments 
by using the ampersand symbol is because we don't want to create new new values in the memory we want the values to be continuously recorded we have to use this we have to use this na we need the successor so in the main program i'll just tell you that in the main program we will be given an array of integers right so we have to scan the array from right to left okay so we have to continuously keep inserting so first we will make a node successor which is equal to null initially and uh, we will keep inserting values and if successor is not null that is if successor is not equal to null then we replace this with successor data otherwise we replace the array element with minus 1 so i didn't write the full thing you can write the code by yourself now it is very simple the only main thing important over here was and we need a and i just forgot one more thing that uh, root also we need right so this is the most important thing actually if you know this properly you will you will be able to solve anything so this insert function is the main thing okay and continuously recording the successor so least greatest element on right side we need to know the in order successor while creating the bst by scanning the elements from right to left so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it please share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel if you have not check the playlist we have finished many topics another two videos i think binary search tree will be done we will do we will increase the pace of solving problems and solve it completely okay as soon as possible so keep, take care stay safe keep learning keep growing bye